Good morning, viewers at home. Yeah, welcome to another beautiful edition of the show, Perspectives. As usual, you know that I am your host, Yinka Kenny. It's my name. Wow, today, well, we're going to be looking at um, something that is being talked about, you know, because here on Perspectives, if it happened, it's happening, or it's being talked about, we bring you the full gist here on the show few weeks ago it was all over the country about talks about the governance with their 100 days in office well we are looking at something similar this morning uh it's also from the it's also from the uh, uh executive um uh, governor's um uh will it say, will i say office or i would i will we, i will we call it well still in the governor's in the government house is still in the government house uh but in a different capacity this time around we are looking at what our first ladies what they have been doing yes a lot of first ladies they've been going about doing this doing this, doing a lot of things but um with our research we realized that there is one first lady that has been so prominent in our humanitarian services and she's been all over the social media everybody is talking about her ah this uh, first lady she does not have a mandate but then by virtue of you know a spouse uh, position she feels morally obliged to contribute positively to the state's uh, 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 development for so many good reasons she's been in the news and she continues to get commendation from people of our states and beyond. Through her initiative, she has an initiative that she calls Ilerio Lua Development. Oh, I've let the cat out of the bag. She has taught the lives of so many people, particularly in the areas of health and empowerment. You know, one of her speeches, one of her speeches I listened to, she said that um, she derived joy in, you know, putting smiles on people's face which of the first ladies are we talking about we are talking about the first lady all the way from the state of Oshun, mrs oyet which is kafayat oyetola let's take you through a jolly ride on some of our activities in the state stay tuned and watch this the purpose of what we are doing now is uh, free surgery that is being sponsored by the first lady, uh, Mrs. Kafayat, she's the one responsible for the buying of all the materials that we are using. So far now, we have done about 90 cases. Uh, we still have some other cases remaining, and uh, surely within the next one hour, we are going to finish all the cases. Uh, the first lady, Mrs. Kafayat Oyetola, believes this is one way of probably giving to the society what God has endowed her with. So basically, that is what is going on. Today's program is in line with the social protection mission of the United Nations Human Rights Development Initiative. We are all familiar with the saying that there are no Meaning, how is world. We have the convention that in the very low initiative in the provision of health. No one, I mean, none of the people of our great state should be left unserved. We are determined to follow this strategy, especially for the benefit of our women and children. I want everybody to help me give kudos to Almighty God and back to her. She, God, the Lord has already used it for me. We met, it's not up to a month, and she paid all the money. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not up to a month. That would be the third thing. She's a caring mother. She's loved. The day that she called me that has come and meet her at Iraguji, I said, ah, I'm coming right now. I took a motive is to empower women. I don't want women to depend solely on their husband. beneficiaries of Ileri Oluwa Development 
uh, initiatives. Mrs. Uh, Kavayat Oyetola. She empowered us to start uh, our business. Yeah, welcome back. The show is still Perspectives and Yinka Kenny is my name. I tell you this first lady is one out of many first ladies. I hope she continues this way, Mrs. Uh, the first lady of the state of Oshun, Mrs. Kafayat Oyetola. I hope she continues in this strength that she has started with. And we hope that every other first ladies we emulate, you know, from our actions and um, they keep doing, you know, touching the lives of uh, people. It's all about humanitarian service. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Please stay tuned.